www.lawmanguitars.com. Hey, I've got a really, really cool guitar here. This is a 1977 Electra Model 2281, but this is known as the Elvin Bishop model. Now, who's Elvin Bishop? Remember the song back in 1977, I Fooled Around and Fell in Love? Well, this was the very first Electra that had a celebrity endorser. Uh, I don't know that Elvin Bishop ever played one of these guitars, but he was certainly featured in all the ads as this is, was the Elvin Bishop guitar. So it's uh, really cool that uh, they did that. They started that in 1976, so this was the second year of this guitar. We dated it from the uh, uh, serial number on the back of the headstock and the, and the Maxon pickups. But talk about a gorgeous guitar. I mean, look at this thing. I mean, this flamey maple, all book matched in here, uh, maple back and sides. Uh, what I thought was really cool, uh, it's a lot like, uh, um, oh, maybe a national guitar or something. The bindings have turned a really, really deep, creamy, creamy uh, color, and uh, they, they finish craze. They're, they're starting to crack a little bit, almost a little bit like a, a Gretsch, uh, but it certainly didn't go anywhere else. I think we might have fixed a couple places. I'm trying to remember. Um, I don't see any places that we fixed. Must have been another guitar, but there's a couple places that uh, a little bit fell out. Uh, so I want to point that out. Oh, here it is, right there. I knew there was a spot that had fallen out, but it looks really cool and vintage. And uh, other than that, this guitar is absolutely gorgeous. All original. Uh, it's got chrome parts, of course. We talked about the uh, Maxon pickups. We had those out and looked at them, checked them out. Uh, the uh, speed knobs are original. The uh, pick guard is original. Uh, and check out the Vine of Life uh, flowers uh, of abalone on this fretboard. I'll tell you what, that is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, and they did a lot of this stuff um, uh, back in Japan. Uh, this is a Fuji Jin Gaki guitar, uh, one of the finer uh, manufacturers of Japan uh, who made this guitar. And uh, it's just absolutely beautiful work. I mean, there, there's just, there's no gaps in any of it. I mean, it just, it's just really, really fine work. Uh, they also put on Electra branded uh, tuners on the back. Uh, I don't know what brand those are, but they are sealed die cast and very, very high quality. And um, it's just an awesome, awesome guitar that I have to say our, our tech set it up for us. And uh, I, I'm not sure I've ever had a guitar with lower action. I mean, if you like guitars that play themselves, this is your guitar. I mean, it was just amazing. <laughs> I mean, the action is just so low. Uh, the frets are original. They are uh, big frets. These are not little tiny frets on this guitar. Uh, very, very little uh, wear on them. Uh, the guitar was, you know, there's no finger divots or anything in it. So, um, you know, there's some player marks on the on the pickguard, of course. A uh, little deterioration on the chrome on the uh, uh, pickguard bracket. But, uh, gosh, I'll tell you, it's just really in marvelous shape. But, boy, what a great sound. These Maxon pickups, I've been getting a lot of these Electras. Uh, and uh, the pickups in them are just really, really toneful uh, is really about the only way I can describe them. <laughs> Thank you. 
the way back. sustain. Whoa, what a cool guitar. All original, Elvin Bishop model, 1977. These Maxon uh, humbuckers just kick. It, unbelievable pickups. Uh, you will not be unhappy to grab this guitar. Check it out. Now, we also have original case for it. Happy that I got the uh, original hard shell case. Ugh. You can tell the Japanese ones the, uh, by the, the latches. Uh, you can just you can tell. They're, they're different latches uh, and uh, uh, they're very distinctive. Uh, but all the latches are here. It's a one, two, three, four, five latch uh, case. Uh, both hinges are here and working and the original handle is still here. Uh, case is very, very nice inside. It's, uh, it's uh, gold. Accessory box is still here. Even the accessory back restraint strap is still on it. Little bit of deterioration in the bottom just from the guitar jamming in the end, uh, but no uh, water wear or anything like that or deterioration of it. Smells like grandma's attic. It smells really nice. So there's no funny odors in this uh, guitar case, I'm happy to report. So if you've been looking for a 335 style guitar, why get one like everybody else in town? The 1977 Elvin Bishop Electra is awesome and I would put that guitar up against any Gibson around. Check it in all of our awesome guitars at www.lawmanguitars.com. We appreciate you watching our demos. Thanks a lot.